When you think about creating and maintaining a positive learning environment or simply reducing challenging behavior, it may not immediately occur to you that allowing the children time outside can have a significant impact, but it can, and there are many reasons why. Most obviously, it is in the outdoors that children can engage in large, loud, and boisterous behaviors that would be frowned upon and even prohibited indoors. This allows them to burn off excess energy and get it out of their system. It's also the best place for them to practice and master emerging physical skills and to experience the pure joy of movement. And a joyful child is a child who's unlikely to act out. Along those lines, getting outside is also important because the outdoor light stimulates the pineal gland, the part of the brain that regulates the biological clock. It's vital to the immune system and makes us feel happier. Nature has also been shown to create a sense of peace in children and to generate more positive feelings toward one another. It has even been shown to reduce or eliminate bullying. Obviously, if children feel more peaceful and have more positive feelings toward one another, challenging behavior is going to be reduced. Your setting will be far more tranquil than if the children were feeling anxious or had negative feelings toward one another. Outside, the children are more likely to invent games. As they do, they're able to express themselves and learn about the world in their own way. They feel safe and in control, which promotes autonomy, decision-making, and organizational skills. Inventing rules for games, as young children like to do, promotes an understanding of why rules are necessary, which will make them less resistant toward yours. Although the children are just playing to have fun, they learn communication and other social skills. For example, cooperation, taking turns, solving problems, and conflict resolution. Finally, after contact with nature, children score higher on tests of concentration and self-discipline. Children with ADHD are also better able to concentrate after experiences in nature. A child who's able to concentrate is far less likely to feel frustrated and even angry. And a connection with nature is especially important for children who have experienced trauma. Teacher and researcher Vicki Bowling has written, Our classrooms and homes are often filled with children who are hurting in one way or another and need the healing influence that a close personal connection with nature can provide. Many teachers in entire schools and school districts withhold recess as a form of punishment for any number of infractions in the mistaken belief that it will improve behavior. But the fact is, withholding recess is rarely, if ever, a logical consequence for a child's transgression. If there's no logic behind it, children may well push back. Also, experimental studies and anecdotal evidence indicate that the same children tend to miss all or part of recess every day, demonstrating that the threat of missing recess is ineffective. Alternatively, recent research indicates that breaks, particularly for young students, are far more likely to improve behavior. So withholding recess is counterproductive and cruel for many reasons. Clearly, if we want to create a positive learning environment where challenging behavior is the exception rather than the norm, we need to get kids outdoors as often as possible. For more recommendations on how you can improve the atmosphere in your setting, see my online course, Avoid Behavior Challenges in Your Early Childhood Setting. I hope you'll like and share this video. As always, thanks for watching.